Lighting, besides audio, is one of the most important components in a great video. Lighting can also convey a certain mood or feeling, direct the audience's eye to a specific point of interest, but the right lighting will add a professional and quality look to your videos. So whether you're a content creator or a professional filmmaker, a good light is a must. So LoomCube was nice enough to send me over their studio panel lighting kit. This is one of the lights, the other one is behind me to test out and review. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you an overview of the studio panel lighting kit, as well as my review, and also compare it to a traditional mono light setup with a soft box like what I'm currently using, as well as go over one very important thing that I think people miss whenever they're looking to buy a set of lights and they're looking into getting LED light panels. So in the box, you'll see a carrying bag, which everything is inside of already, two LED light panels, a set of of barn doors for each light, a remote to control each light, two light stands and the mounts for the light panels to attach them to, as well as two power cables. So overall, a few things to talk about with the light panels themselves. These are bi-color light panels, which essentially means they cover pretty much the entire white spectrum of visible light. So these go from down to 2700 Kelvin, which is your more yellow light, all the way up to 7500 Kelvin, which is like a bluish white light. These light panels can be powered by DC power on the back, and they also have an internal battery that's rated to last around 80 minutes at full brightness. The controls on the back are pretty straightforward and it also has this handy LED screen on the back as well. Hopefully you can see it. And on the back, you have two controls, your brightness as well as your color temperature a power switch, the DC input, as well as a channel button, which that helps you change the channel to correspond onto the remote itself to give you control of the panel with the remote. Super simple and easy to set up right out the box. You're pretty much ready to go. The remote has them on the same channel out of the box. So I set this one to channel one and that one to channel two so that I can control them individually. But if you wanna control them together at the same time, you could do that as well. So not to get too nitty gritty, but let's go over some basics of lighting. So in most professional lighting setups, YouTube sets, filmmaking sets, even movie sets, to light your subject in the scene, you're always gonna be using a light considered a key light for the most part. And what I'm using right now is a mono light with a soft box and simply using a key light can take your shot from looking like this to this. And it's very important to have diffusion in front of your light to prevent your shot from looking like this. So now that we have the diffusion in front of the light, you can see that this looks a lot more natural, a lot more professional and pleasing to the eye. Hopefully we can all agree on that. So besides your key light, you can have more lights in your shot to either fill in the shadows on the other side of your key light, or you can utilize what they call a rim light. Like what I'm using the second light for in the studio panel light kit right now. Now a rim light is not really necessary for every single type of shot, but having multiple lights, you can utilize them in different ways and really shape the light that you want for your specific shot. And this kit comes with two lights so that's a plus in my book. Now that we also understand how important diffusion is in front of your light, Loom Cube panels come with a layer of diffusion on top of the LEDs themselves. And I don't think I can actually take this off unless I was to unscrew it, but there is a layer of diffusion directly on the LEDs and that will be very important in a second. So now that you've seen what a traditional mono light looks like in a YouTube setup, I'm gonna go ahead and switch on over to the LED light panel from Loom Cube. So you can sort of see the difference and you can let me know which one you like most in the comments below. So the studio panel lighting kit, like I said before, has a diffusion layer on the light itself. So that's a great start in getting a softer looking image, but let me know what you think in the comments about the comparison of both lights. We'll touch on that in a moment. So now that you've seen these lights in a YouTube set, let me show you what it would look like on a more professional setting like this. So I wanted to set up sort of a situation you would see maybe on a professional shoot, a corporate shoot, a business overview video, what have you, where you would have a talking head portion for your video. But here's the overall set. I have the rim light towards the back of the shot, just out of frame so you can't see it, but it lights up the back of the subject. And then I have the two lights set to the right of the camera, sort of at an angle to fake the window lighting right here. So whether you're a professional filmmaker or a professional videographer, you're gonna be using lighting for the most part in a lot of different situations you find yourself in. And one of those specifically is a talking head scenario, whether it's a corporate shoot or a business highlight video, you're going to need a set of lights to properly light the shot, unless you just wanted to use natural daylight, which is definitely possible, but it's always good to have a set of lights on hand to be able to light your subject no matter what situation you find yourself no, in. God, and lastly, what if you're a streamer or you work from home and you do a lot of Zoom calls, but you don't have a lot of room on your desk for a bulky traditional mono light setup. You want something a little bit more compact like the studio panel lighting kit. Let me show you what that looks like. 
Alright everyone, welcome to the quarter one zoom call. Let me turn on my new loom cube light really quick to light up the situation. Guys, quarter one was a little rough. I think we need to lock in in quarter two and really start punching these numbers. Will. Excuse me, are you paying attention? Lolololo streaming on a zoom call pop champ GG Pets. Pushing into the control tower, Barry. So hopefully those examples were helpful for you in determining what would best fit your scenario and what you would use these lights for. Let me switch back over to my mono light setup and let's talk about some things that I like and don't like about the studio panel lighting kit. All right, let's start with what I like the most about the studio panel lighting kit from LoomQ. First thing that I like the most about it is the portability. The fact that these are super compact, very lightweight. I think one of these only comes in at around 700 grams or like 1.54 pounds. And the carrying case that it comes with is also very compact and every single thing that comes in the kit can fit inside of this. So both of the light stands, the power cables, the barn doors, and the lights themselves fit right into this very compact case you could slide this under a car seat and carry this like a suitcase on any shoot that you go on another thing that i like the most about the studio panel lighting kit is just the control and ease of use of it right out of the box they're super simple to set up and get started all of the controls you need are on the back of the panel themselves you also have the handy remote which is really straightforward and easy to use and it gives you a bunch of control over each light individually the last thing that i love the most about the studio panel lighting kit is simply just how bright they are and you're gonna have to take my word for it because I don't have a proper light meter, but they're pretty bright. So one of the things that I don't really like about the studio panel lighting kit is that it doesn't have RGB. I think for the price of $350, it would have been nice to include RGB in the light and also the ability to have different effects. Like you see on the light behind me, that's one of the bulbs from Aperture. You can change the color, as well as play around with some different effects. This one has the fire effect. And cop car is one of my favorites too, so if you're doing sort of a filmmaking set and you want to mimic a cop car right outside the window, having those sort of effects built into the panel themselves would have just added a whole nother layer of use to these panels, especially for the price. Another thing that I don't really like about the LED panels is the fact that there's not a removable battery. And again, for the price, there's other LED panels on the market that utilize these Sony F970 batteries they also utilize Canon batteries as well. But for professional filmmakers and videographers like me, these are relatively cheap and we tend to have a lot of these lying around. It would just be nice to be able to use these, swap them in and out if you're ever in a pinch like other LED panels on the market. And the last thing, and I think this is the most important thing that I think people miss, and it could very well be subjective, but I just don't think it's as diffused and professional looking as a traditional mono light setup with a softbox in front of it. And this really isn't a fault to the Loom Cube panels themselves. In my opinion, all LED panels tend to have that harsher, unprofessional look to them. For me, I just feel like a mono light setup with a softbox is the industry standard for a reason. The look you get from this setup is a lot more natural and professional. The diffusion is tasteful and has a quality look to it. Whereas with LED panels, since the diffusion is directly on top of the LEDs themselves, you get a more harsher and unprofessional look to your shot. And so that brings me to my final point and hopefully I can round all this together. If you are someone out there on the market right now who has no lights, zero lights, and you're looking to get into content creation or professional filmmaking or videography, for the price of $350, I would suggest going out getting a quality mono light, a soft box, as well as a good set of light stands, and then maybe look into getting LED panels like this later to complete your lighting kit. Here's why I think that. If you're looking to do this professionally, and if you purchase one of these lights, you're gonna be able to learn how to use and shape these lights from the start. And if you ever find yourself on a set where these lights are hanging around, you're gonna know how to use them. Number two, and this is for everyone, your shots are going to look a lot more natural. Now don't go throwing these out the window just yet. It doesn't mean you can't use these as your key light. They can still serve the same purpose, but in my opinion, you're always going to get a more professional and natural look with a mono light and a soft box. So Will, who is this for? Why are you still making this video? For me, I feel like this kit is perfect for that run and gun creator who needs a good compact light source in their back pocket. With its portability, ease of setup, 
battery life, and even brightness, these are perfect for those run and gun scenarios where you don't have access to a bigger light source like a traditional mono light. Or if you just need to add more lights to your setup like what I'm doing right now and still use a traditional mono light as your main key light, these are perfect for that. Or if you're someone, maybe a YouTuber or a content creator that doesn't have enough room in their office and doesn't want the hassle of a bulky light setup and just wants a compact, solid light source for your videos, in my opinion, these are the ones to get. The name LoomCube is a trusted brand, and I feel like for the most part, these cheaper brands with the cheaper LED panels, you might not get the same color accuracy, the same brightness, and they might not last as long. Yes, you'll be able to get a removable battery situation going on, but I can't really speak for the quality of those. And from what I've seen from using these, these are very well made, super quality, and super bright. But if you are interested in a removable battery panel, I'll go ahead and link some of the alternatives below so you can do your own research. But also, if you are interested in the LoomCube studio panel lighting kit i will link my affiliate link below and that just helps support me as a creator if you do decide to make a purchase through that link thank you guys so much for watching this video they say that if you ask your audience to like and subscribe it might even work so if you did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you want to see my face in the algorithm and i'll see you guys on the next video